if all of that sounded like a lot, it kind of should. It's 75 hard. What's up, y'all? Glasses on or off? But the only thing is this, baby, I like to hide, so we might do the video like this. Okay. Hello, how is everybody doing today? It is very hot in the sunny state of Ohio. Uh, it's also rainy, so there's that. Coming to you today with the topic of the 75 hard challenge. I completed it not once, but twice. Do I think I'm a badass? Yeah. But am I not gonna do that shit again? Yeah. <laughs> I might do it again, but it'll be years down the line. So I did 75 hard. I was like, you know what? Who else in the world might be doing 75 hard? Hmm, might be a lot of people. So might as well make a video about tips that I have to successfully complete the 75 hard challenge, honey, since I did it twice. The second time I almost didn't make it. So I got my notes here. Let's get into it to see people walk around okay so if you don't know what the 75 hard challenge is it is a challenge created by Andy Frisella not sure if I'm saying his name correctly but basically these habits that he has you do every day for 75 days change your life you get mental toughness um, as well as physical strength so let's get into what the rules are so you got to follow a diet you choose the diet it could be pescatarian vegetarian vegan whatever you choose choose something that you think you can keep up with you have to complete two 45 minute workouts and one must be outside you have to take a picture of yourself every day you have to drink one full gallon of water every day you cannot drink any alcohol and you have to read 10 pages of a non-fiction book. If you mess up on anything, if you forget to take a picture, if you only read nine pages, you must start the challenge over from day one. So, let's get into these tips. One, for following a diet, I say be realistic. I chose to be pescatarian because number one, um, I didn't want to lose that much weight. I needed the extra protein, especially with all the physical activity that's required. Two, it was just something that is easier because I do eat out. I eat out at lunch, I eat out with friends. And so having a broader diet would be more beneficial for me. I still focus heavily on eating whole foods, fruits, vegetables, um, less processed, if possible but I wanted something that would give me that flexibility so that's why I chose pescatarian so the challenge is already difficult enough um, you can choose vegan vegetarian you know it's totally up to you but just know that you have to stick with this for two and a half months that is a long time it's a long time you know let's be honest it's 75 hard not 75 easy mild soft flaccid it's none of those. So keep that in mind. So as far as the two workouts go, you got to do two 45 minute workouts, right? I got some tips on that. I recommend number one, getting that outdoor workout out the way as soon as possible. There were times where me and my husband, who also did the challenge with me both times, uh, because of him, I even did it. We would travel, baby traveling and then having to get to your destination and go outside to do a workout highly inconvenient um and it was just hard sometimes you know you would wait too long and we would do workouts at like 11 p.m after traveling from somewhere now had we just got up early and got it done we wouldn't have had to worry about that we could have just got home went straight to bed but you know you live and you learn and that's also why I can give you these tips because I've been through it like struggle for no reason, honestly. So if you can do it early. Also weather changes, man, it'll be sunny one day or one minute and then stormy the next and doing a workout outside in the rain is no fun, especially 
if you don't have a patio or some kind of awning to cover you it's not fun not fun the other tip with that is to do something fun while you're doing the workout that really helps if you want to watch netflix hulu if you want to watch youtube if you want to listen to a podcast listening to bomb playlists all of those things really help there were so many times where i was in a funk i'm like bump this you know i don't really want to do this second workout or the first workout um, I'm just really not in the mood, but you got to do something enjoyable so you can kind of reward yourself while you are working hard. What else do I have on here? Oh yeah, get creative with your workouts. If you're sore, do some yoga. You know, everything doesn't have to be super cardio, super strength focused, super hard. You know, you can take it easy on your body. And when you do just go hard, go hard, go hard, and there's no recovery process. Your body won't heal well, and it's not going to get as strong as it could have. So get creative. Um, if you got yard work you need to do. I mowed the lawn a few times as my workout. Um, did some yard work. And it's not like this was just like light work. No, I was breathing heavy. I was sweating hard, burning calories, all the same. If you need to do housework, vigorous housework that is included so you know kind of mix it up make up your workouts if you want to or do some cleaning and mix that in with doing some squats doing some curls you know just get creative but know that the whole point is for you to have that intention to work out to exercise to get your body fit that needs to be your intention no matter what you decide to do for your first and or second workouts um also tailor your exercises to your personal goals if you want to lose weight you're going to be more cardio focused if you want to bulk up you got to be more strength focused and balancing that stuff out with flexibility because that is very important to prevent injury just take care of you and think about what you want to do. No alcohol. Y'all, the second time, the first time I did 75 hard, it was cool. You know, we were, we didn't yet have the COVID-19 vaccine. So me and my husband, we were still kind of in lockdown to and from work. Uh, maybe a small group of people we would kick it with. That was it. So alcohol wasn't that bad. Second time around, the one I just completed, <laughs> baby, that was during summertime. Hot girl summer was more like mild girl summer. I went to hang out with a few different groups of friends and asking for a mocktail, asking for sparkling water with lime. It felt weird. It did feel weird. It felt like you were being excluded from the group experience. But just know that mocktails, one, they can aid in making it to your gallon goal faster that sparkling water okay that counts um and two you can do other things i don't know what you're into no judgments but if you want to partake in a little mary jane you know if you want some caffeine whatever else you do that's on you that's you and your business but you can do that. So you can be a part of the group in a different way. So you could drink, but still feel whatever, depending on your drug of choice, I guess. Mocktails are your friend. You know, you could go to a nice little restaurant and they have the cute fruity drinks, but it has alcohol in it. Go ahead and ask if they can make it non-alcoholic or make a mocktail version. Don't be afraid of that. And they taste really good. Even to this day, I will get a mocktail because why not hydration you know is key y'all i'm also sweating in this car so bear with me drinking a gallon of water my biggest biggest tip is to start early there were so many nights where i'd be using the bathroom every two to three hours because i decided hmm let's save this whole pint of water till right before bed He's a clown. So I got it done, but I was miserable. So start early. That's not that's that's the key with all of this. 
with your workouts, with your drinking, with your reading, which I'll get to, just start early because who knows what can happen as the day progresses. These are all things you have control over. So definitely think about that. Different drinks count as hydration or water. So you could have water, you could have flavored water, if you want to flavor it with fruit, um, different juices, lemon juice, lime juice, that counts. Uh, I did count tea and I counted coffee. The water that we put in pre-workouts, the water that we put in our amino acids, the water that I drank with my supplements, I counted all of that. So you might want to too. Honestly, a gallon of water does sound like a lot, but your body needs it and you feel really good when you drink it. All that working out you're doing, all that sweating, all that recovery your body needs, your body needs that gallon. So it sounds very daunting and it is very daunting, but you can do it. Start early, get creative with the drinks, make them enjoyable, you know, add a little mint here and there and you'll get through it. Also to track your water. I recommend using the water app, which I will put a link down below. So the water app, is, I think it's literally called the water app. They have a free version, but they also have a version where you can pay. That just allows you to track, not only track, but also it tells you how much water is in different drinks. So for example, they have like orange juice. You'll plug in, oh, I drank 12 ounces. And it'll be like, okay, that's worth 10 ounces of water. So that's very helpful. I have the free version, but the version that you pay for, uh, you have a wider variety of drinks that you can choose from. So you could do wine, which is negative water. <laughs> surprise, surprise, it's negative water. You gotta drink way more water when you're drinking alcohol. Um, you can do like coconut water, sparkling. They got all kinds of stuff on there. So. That's something I recommend, especially because nobody wants to sit there and say, okay, I drank 30 ounces, then 10, then 20, write it down. That's kind of a lot. So it's easier for me, I noticed, to just have that app. So when reading your 10 pages of nonfiction material, do it early if you can. Do it early, do it while you're at work. Maybe if you have to read for work, that also counts because it is nonfiction. Um, I am a pharmacist, so oftentimes I need to complete continuing education courses that will count towards my licensure. All that doesn't matter. All that to say, though, that I would read multiple pharmacist letters to count towards my 10 pages. Sometimes I will forget my book, so you could do that. If you do forget your book, another tip. A lot of times there are websites that has the PDF version of your book online for free. So you could print it off if you want or if you like reading screens, you could just read your little 10 pages and keep it pushing. I did want to tell y'all the books I did read that really made a huge impact on my mental. The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz easy book you're gonna get through it in a matter of like five days because there's not that many pages but just so good those are things that i live by to this day becoming supernatural by joe dispenza that book is a little it's wordy very research based but boy the information you get from that priceless atomic habits by james clear that book really helped get me through the last 30 days of my challenge, of my second challenge, I'd say. It was just so impactful. He talks about every day just getting 1% better. And you getting 1% better, that compounded interest that accrues from you doing it, doing it on the days where it sucks, doing it on the days where it's it seems impossible and you reap the most benefits, y'all. If nothing else, read that book. But I also read Get Good With Money by Tiffany Aliche. You know, trying to be financially whole or whatever. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. That book, I don't think I... Did I finish? I finished it. It's an older book. A little problematic. A little problematic. But the information is there. It's there. 
Another tip for reading, you could do it while you exercise. But I think it's a great idea to combine as many things as you can. Um, Cause it makes sense, work smarter, not harder, right? Also, there are so many times where I would fall asleep reading a book, like I would wait, like, oh, this would be the perfect wind down activity. And you read the book, you read pages, the pages start getting blurry, the words start disappearing, next thing you know. Many a times where I have fallen asleep while reading. So, best advice I can give you is just to do these tasks early in the day. Do them when you have the energy, just do them. If all of that sounded like a lot, it kind of should. It's 75 hard. The whole purpose is to make life inconvenient. But realizing that if you can put your mind to it, it sounds so stupid and cliche, but if you could put your mind to it, you could really do it. But you really have to be about it. You really have to want it. And that's what 75 hard is truly all about.